we look this up on all data and they said it was like a three hour job or something? <laughs> no, I hope not. I'm at my favorite shop today. This is Wrench Monkeys in Sacramento. Got my Z3 here. And it runs great, but I decided I'm gonna do a bunch of preventive maintenance. Got a lot of parts today. Let's see what I've got. So first I have the serpentine and the AC belts. Next I have an AC or a air filter, fuel filter, front brake pads, uh, these laser platinum spark plugs from the old owner. He never put them on. These are the BRK6 EQUP. I think they're pretty popular amongst the BMW guys. I got new motor mounts because the stock motor mounts were falling flat and they're almost pushing up against the X brace under the car. Got an oil filter. I might end up doing this at home. A graph metal impeller water pump. Um, a valve cover gasket kit. And with the washer grommets. And I also went ahead and got an engine oil filler cap gasket because there was just two bucks. So I figure I might as well just change it. Yeah, and that's all I have today. And I'm waiting for the work to be done because I don't have a ride home. So I hope it goes quickly. I'm trying out these cheap uh, ceramic brake pads. Hopefully they last a little while. I just need adequate performance. I'm not racing this or autocrossing it or anything like that. I just want a nice cruiser that's reliable. So hopefully all of these parts do the trick and keep it running well. Yeah, it looks pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got a little thing on here just here to protect the threads. You ever watch any of the Jack Ryan stuff that's on Amazon? No, just because I think about Jim in the office. Your fan just fell off, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, I think I need to start tightening those. But of course. It just slid right off, huh? This is what covered it, you know? People are saying how they can be really stubborn to come out. Oh yeah? Yeah. A surface street you know and I'd been on the gas through a couple of gears from a stop stoplight you know I'd been wide open and I see this high patrol and I'm like oh man I'm in trouble you know should I get you the spark plug Why?
How are you doing? What's up, Chris? How are you? What's new and exciting? Huh? What's new? Man, I don't know. Such a pain in the ass. Not like the old days when you could have a locksmith just like make a key. The back of the Harley, you know. Nice. You know, big giant things and stuff. Did I miss something? That's not a bolt. That's a bolt. You just need a That's Calvin a pissing on something. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, all right. Fifteen. That thing did not seem like it wanted to come out. Is it broken in there? It looks like it's pretty intact. Mm -hmm. So, in, in your experience, do fuel filters need to be changed? Mm, rarely. Maybe okay. every 100,000 miles. Okay, so at 190, I guess we're okay to change it? Yeah. I guess says, hey, uh, we're looking for some good people. We want to start like a, a program where you get a taste of the hourly, you know, like a dealership does. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's like, how would you feel about coming back to work here? And I'm like, you're fucking high.
I didn't say that, of course, but that's what I was thinking, you know? Like, what? Do you ever wish you could just come to work and do jobs, though, and not have to talk to customers and stuff? Sure. Or yeah. Yeah. But I want them to be jobs that I've chosen and that oh. I'm yeah, deciding yeah. how much to charge and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Totally. Right? I don't want it to be a job that somebody else has chosen and decided what to charge. Right. That. That's good. So maybe we didn't need to change it after all. Now we know. Uh, but you don't really know, right, what that thing looks like inside, how restricted it might be. But the two-stroke, I have to put a piston in it every 50 to 60 hours. Oh, interesting. Versus the four stroke, I'll go 200 hours before I put a piston in it. So it's like, yeah, maybe it's more expensive to do the four stroke, but you do it so less often. Oh, this is the wrong size socket. This is like five or something. You do it so less often that I think it ends up kind of again being the, the same, right? It's kind of a push. So. Yeah. And I would always warm it up first. Yeah. And um, they've got three different. Uh, fuel and ignition maps you can use. Uh, there's the stop one, and then there's which map to switch itself into. So they could have put like a little toggle switch or something on there if they'd wanted, right? But instead they put this little little plug with, you know, wires. But anyway, I had, I had never run the uh, aggressive map, right? I had never run the one that advances the timing and leans the mixture. Right. I'd always warmed it up. Never raced it, and so there's basically no excuse for it to dis disintegrate, you know, to, for it to take out the rod bearing. I mean, you know, I'm 50 years old, right? Well, at the time I was 40, 45 years old or whatever. It's like, yeah. Yeah. All well, these engines can't last that long. I need to do it more often, right? I'm not going to do that. Right. So I rebuilt it, and then uh, I put 190 hours on it. And it started having an issue that turned out to be a bad throttle position sensor, but I didn't know what it was. And so I went ahead and rebuilt it again because I just thought maybe something about, you know, having 190 hours on it. Yeah. And when I sent the crank off to get... Yeah. actually works. What do you know? What do you know? You said the top was a 16? Not a 16. Yeah. That motor mount is really falling. Falling down. Yeah, it's collapsed. Yep. Okay. You nut. This one. Oh, fans hitting now. Yeah, so that's about as far as we can go. Our fans hitting the shroud. because it's gonna be so much fatter. <laughs> right, right, yeah, it may be a little taller, right? Okay, so that little bump goes forward. To fit in the thing. Oh yeah, right there, okay. 
So it fits in that little hole. Okay. Is there a left? Yeah, it's definitely a little thicker. Okay. Where we need to be. Oh, yep. There we go. Got that end in. There we go. Okay. Oh, with room to spare. Yeah. But now I want it line up. There we go, right there, okay. All right, so, we probably wanna leave that loose since so we've done this side, right? Like we start the top nut maybe so it doesn't fall. Yeah. Then don't, don't bolt the bottom in. sitting in the right spot because it needs to drop into that little you know that little yeah. groove Oh, maybe because oil wouldn't drip on it, huh? <laughs> you think that's what the shield is for? There we go. All right. Easy. Yep. Easy squeeze. Okay, so I'm going to have you do the green button thing again. All right. Just tap it. Yeah, just go like that. More? Again. 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 All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just that easy. Just that easy. 